Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be kind of curating a summer makeup bag with you all. I have way too much makeup in this bag, so I'm definitely going to be taking some items out, but I wanted to kind of do that with you guys today. I thought that would be fun. I'm going to be also sharing with you all a bunch of demos of like some really, really beautiful summer, summery makeup, a bunch of just really beautiful items, but I do need to pare down, so we're going to do that. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Amanda. I would love to have you back, so make sure to subscribe. I also will say that most of these items are on sale right now, um, at least when I'm posting this for like Memorial Day sales. So I'm going to leave like details down below and any of the links down below are to those sales going on. Pretty much every product that I'm mentioning is on discount right now. Now, first of all, foundation. I already know that this is going to be like my go-to foundation. It's the Kogendo Aqua. Now, I have gone back for years with this foundation. I've been using it since 2015, 2016. Some of my first videos, you can go check them out, but I definitely don't recommend it. This has been a holy grail of mine for so long, and I actually took it on a trip, the Creators and Friends trip. Posted a lot about it on my Instagram, but I took this one single foundation with me, and then I just re-fell in love with it all over again. Also, because it is on sale right now, it's like, you know, I don't buy it unless it's on sale, if I'm being honest, because it is expensive. But you guys talk a lot about wedding makeup um, in my comments, and I gotta tell you, the Kogendo Aqua is like front contender. It is photograph ready makeup that looks beautiful and skin-like in person, which is, I mean, if you're familiar, it's a dynamic that's so difficult to do because a lot of foundations that look good in person just, they don't give enough on camera. I'm wearing it today. It looks so smooth. It's incredibly buildable and yet it lies so closely on the skin that it becomes one with it. I'm going to be picking up another one just because I realized that Every time I've been wanting to wear a foundation, I've been reaching for this all over again. So I just wish it was less expensive and had more shades. Very quickly, we do need to talk about sunscreen. These ones aren't on sale, so I do apologize about that. But I will try. I'll try and see if they are on sale somewhere. This is kind of a holy grail sunscreen. You can see a little bit of a pattern in this video. I've just recently been wanting to reach for makeup that I just really, really vibe with. So anyway, it's the Kiss Me Mommy sunscreen from Isan. Now it's SPF 50. It is, it just melts right into the skin. No stinging, no burning. It's hydrating, but not greasy. Literally everything that I want out of the sunscreen, I have found in this, you know, no white cast. It's just so beautiful and it's affordable. You have not heard me blab about this. There's my spiel. Uh, it is one of the absolute best. Now, the Kosas Dream Beam is new. I have used it a couple of times and I did like it. This is also mineral, so if you're looking for a purely mineral sunscreen, um, this is zinc oxide. Now, something interesting about this is like, when it goes onto the skin, it kind of gives me a little bit of like, I don't know, like a Glossier Future Do vibe. It has like a, a slight tint to it. This definitely has a little bit of that in my opinion, but it's not overly glowy. I would say if you are looking at the Super Goop Glow Screen, I would definitely recommend this one over it. So I think for like my makeup bag, I think it makes more sense to have this in here. Back to complexion, the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. It's just a go-to. On Violet Gray right now, you can get 20% off um, the Luminous Silk Concealer and the foundation if you um, like either of them, but this concealer, it's just one of the only ones that looks really natural under my eyes and does not exaggerate the kind of deep settedness of my under eyes. So thin and it definitely has just this, uh, this bit of elegance on the skin that I think other concealers really miss. I think some brands focus so much on coverage 
that they forget that the under eye area especially is so thin and not super forgiving. And this is just such a forgiving concealer. Really beautiful, um, especially if you have mature skin. But uh, definitely putting this in here. And now, for bronzer, I realized I hadn't talked about this one in my recent bronzer video, so I decided to put it into this makeup bag. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. I talked about this a lot in that recent video, but I really don't like a lot of powder bronzers. This one is absolutely beautiful. It's affordable. There's lots of shades to choose from, and it's just incredibly finely milled. It is on my face today. I find that, um, you know, it has good pigment, but it's more buildable rather than a bronzer that's immediately going to stamp a ton of muddy product on the face. It's not one of those products. I love this shade in particular. This is 200 Fair. And I just find that my makeup looks really pretty and perfected when I have this on. Really a realistic bronze effect. Formula is very finely milled and thin on the skin, so it's not going to look like heavy powder, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I don't think I mentioned yet, but Ulta is doing like a one-time use 15% off like site-wide. I'll leave the coupon uh, down below, but obviously this is at Ulta. But I'm pretty sure like most of the prestige makeup is also on sale. Now, here's the hard part. And I knew this was going to be a difficult part. I really can't pare down like the amount of blushes that I have in here. It's going to be a struggle. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one time of the year for blush. It's summer. Summer is like, like my time. It's my time to shine. I'm gonna first talk about a product that I'm definitely keeping in my makeup bag. It's a new release, so it isn't on sale, but it is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, the new shade Cherry. I'm wearing it today on my face, and I do actually have a demo of this one. It is so beautiful. Ugh, I just, it's gorgeous. It, to me, is like a brighter, more red version of the coral that they already have. Look at that. It's just, it really speaks to me. I think a lot more people will be able to get away with this than some people realize. I hope that this becomes a really popular shade because right on the tops of the cheekbones, it's just going to give you that really gorgeous, slightly burnt effect. I did that all over the nose, all over here. It's kind of an instant love for me. I'm just gonna say that. I also picked up Rosewood and Mahogany. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see those shades, um, a demo of those, but, but geez, this is really, really pretty and kind of ideal for a summertime blush. Another blush that is on my cheeks today, which is Keir Weiss Inner Glow. Now, I essentially use this as like a blush contour product. It shapes my cheeks in such a like natural way. I'm wearing it like right in here. It just, <laughs> I've described it this way before. It's like a push-up bra for your cheeks. I don't know how it does it. I would say if you're more of a medium skin tone, I would go with Abundance from Keir Weiss. It's just, it has a little bit more saturation, but Inner Glow is really beautiful for more fair skin. It is, ugh. I love the Cure Weiss blushes. They are doing 25% uh, off site wide right now. This is like my top recommendation from Cure Weiss. I think it's a really, really unique product. And for me personally, contouring and adding shape to the face has just been something that is really something that needs to look super natural. And this is kind of able to give me this contour blush shape uh, that just doesn't translate as trying to shape the face. It is such a cool product. I absolutely love it. So with all that, I'm going to put it in the bag. Now this was a top favorite of last year. It is the Benefit Cha Cha Tint. It is so beautiful if you like a kind of tangerine shade. It's a cheek stain. You can use it on the lips as well. And it actually has more creaminess than other lip stains or cheek stains do. I think is what makes it so much more blendable. It just, oh, it washes out over the cheeks really easily, even with just fingers. 
but I used it so much last year that maybe I should give some of these other blushes some more time, if that makes sense. Absolutely beautiful, and I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Honestly, now with this like 15% off coupon from Ulta, I might pick up Flora Tint from Benefit. I had my eye on it for like so long, I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. Now, let's say you wanna go a little bit more neutral. The Undone Beauty Rosewood blush has been an affordable favorite for so long. This kind of gets into more of that blush bronzer hybrid kind of territory. So if you really love shades like that, this is absolutely beautiful. I would love to use this kind of all over the face um, to show you eventually, but it just has this gorgeous translucence. It goes onto the skin so evenly and easily, but it also kind of sets down a bit. It doesn't remain really dewy on the skin. It kind of just shears out with this really beautiful translucence, kind of lets the skin shine through. I just, I cannot get enough of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And also, if you go and look online at all of the shades, I'll, again, I'm leaving it down below, but look at the shades, guys, because there are so many absolutely beautiful shades. Uh, this just happens to be my favorite. I also put the Mega Creams 4-in-1 palette in here. I don't know. I think really because this is a little bit more bulky, I think I'm not going to put this in there, but I really, really love this. And you do have more of a selection of shades and you also get a highlight. And by the way, this highlight's really, really beautiful. Um, if you wanna try a lot of different shades from Undone, I would recommend this over just the singles, but, but at the same time, I could just go with like my classic, my favorite, Coral Peach from Honest Beauty. Ugh, I don't know what to tell you if you have not bought this yet <laughs> off my recommendation. Obviously no actual pressure, but I just have talked about it for literally years. It is the most long wearing cream blush that I know of. It has beautiful, incredible pigment on the skin. It goes beautifully over powder, which is really not something that a lot of cream products do very well, honestly. I love the new packaging that Undone Beauty has now. I just way prefer it to the old plastic. Ultimately, if you want a really, really long wearing cream blush for the summer, this is probably my top recommendation, but both are really beautiful. It's so pretty that I, I just have to put it in the bag. And then a couple honorable mentions that I don't think I'm going to be putting in my bag. Dolly from Buxom. It's a classic, I've talked about it for so long um, and I've just been using it a ton because it's really long lasting. Close to the skin look it has um, and it really like warms up on the skin too. It looks quite mauve in here, but it's it's not, has a touch more warmth and it's really beautiful. This has been a favorite for a long time too. And then Milani, the Cheek Kiss and Coral Crush. You could even use this on the lips. Like this would be beautiful on the lips and then onto the cheeks. Honestly, this, like I really wanna put this in the bag, but again, like I don't wanna run out of room. But God, is this pretty. If you want more of that juicy, kind of cheek look for the summer. You want some beautiful shades. I mean, Milani has done it with this formula. Um, I actually think it's pretty similar to the Undone Beauty formula, but I think that these just feel a little bit creamier if you haven't tried um, the Milani Cheek Kiss blushes. I think that the, um, the cream blushes are even better than the liquids. Are you kidding? I have another blush. Definitely wanted to note that this is on sale at Violet Grey right now. Charlotte Tilbury Pink Pop. I did not think I was going to love this shade, but it is so beautiful, especially for the summer, just to add that little extra bit of vibrancy to the cheeks. The formula is like a little bit more of like a toned down version of the ones from Rare Beauty. Their liquid blushes, they just have like a little bit less pigment but just they go onto the skin so easily. They're so easy to work with. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed by this launch from Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is one of the best launches um, of the year. So I've been very happy with it. Now we're gonna get to highlight in a second, but let's just talk about the eyes. Two items. This is my new favorite one and done eyeshadow. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. A lot of my friends on YouTube love it. It is Hourglass Scattered Light and Ray. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. 
it's just perfection. Um, they call it a deeper champagne and I definitely agree with that. To me, it reminds me of like a more pigmented version of like Space Cowboy. This just has a little bit more oomph to it, like more richness, there's more base pigment. Honestly, I'm seeing this become like best of beauty for 2023. It's that good. It is so beautiful. And since I've been wearing it, like I've just been like, oh, Hourglass Ray. That's that's what I'm putting on my eyes today. I really can't recommend it enough. It's like, it's so pretty. And I used to be a fan of the shade Smoke. Like that was my favorite. I also loved Vivid. This is like immediately coming to the top for me. It's so freaking good. I know I've said that like 15 times now. But in the summer, just to make sure that everything lasts in my eyes, I always love to keep a, like a matte eyeshadow to use as like an eyeshadow base or like to put into the crease just to make everything last just a touch longer. And the About Face Matte uh, Fluid Eye Paint in the shade Smell Before Rain is definitely that product for me. It's a little bit more beigey. Just for me, it is that neutral shade that I could quickly put into my crease anytime I want an eye look to last longer. But they also have like really fun shades to choose from as well. I have a couple of those. I think that the formula for the price point is bonkers good. As far as matte liquid shadows go, I think it's a very difficult formula to formulate. In general, like I just think that a lot of brands get it wrong. They look awkward on the skin. They can almost just like sag on the skin. Like it, I don't know, they can look drying and this blends so beautifully and looks smoothing almost. It's, it's just a really good one. And then Dior Soft Cashmere soft cashmere. It's just such a beautiful everyday palette and it is at Ulta now which means you could get the 15% off but I'm just telling you for like an everyday neutral palette you cannot go wrong with this. I have just found that a lot of luxury palettes have let me down but every single one of these shades I love. I am like such a fan of these more like taupey browns. Like if you are a fan of taupe browns, wet looking toppers to apply right on top, these beautiful kind of gunmetal shimmers. I mean, this palette really has them all. It's definitely a favorite. So that's going to go into the bag. Okay, so we'll get back to mascara in a second, but let's talk about a couple highlights. They're both Charlotte Tilbury, both on sale at Violet Gray, I believe. So Pillow Talk, the Beauty Light Wand, I have it on today. Is there just like, is there anything more I need to say? It's an iconic formula. Uh, the fact that you can get such a natural glow that is almost kind of smoothing and then sets down on the face. It's, it's just so good. It's ridiculous. I think it's one of the only cream highlights that has like stood the test of time for me because you know, a lot of my base products already give me a little bit of a glow. If there's a highlight that I'm gonna reach for, there's probably like three right now in rotation. This is definitely one of them. Um, it's just, it's perfection. Really a slam dunk from Charlotte Tilbury. But I could also go with their new Face Architect highlight, which I do feel like is kind of like the powder version of the cream. Honestly, I think I'm gonna put both in. I'm really gonna try and wear more highlight, I think, this summer. This is the shade Champagne Glow. I also have Moonlit Glow, but Champagne Glow is really good with a tan, I think, for me personally. So I think I'm, I am going to put this in there too. This is really beautiful if you want to kind of shape the face with light. Um, I also find it has like this touch of a blur kind of going on. Okay, and then mascara, I have the Lash E Doll from Lancome. Just such a beautiful, fluttery, natural mascara. Um, and it does give me a little bit more of a fanned out effect, which I really enjoy. It wears really nicely on the eyes as well, um, applies evenly, um, really buildable. It's just like an all around great mascara. I understand why so many people love it. So that is definitely going to be going into the bag. And now we're kind of getting to the end here. I have a lot of odds and ends that I wanted to mention though. We'll get to lips in a second, but I did want to mention, I am going to put the Burberry Her travel size in here. My friend was wearing this one day when I saw her and I immediately was like, what? are you wearing? And it was this, and she said that it was described to her as like a strawberry milkshake. It, that to me is very on point. It's like a sophisticated strawberry milkshake. Like it has a little bit of 
like a floral note to it that really cuts through the strawberry kind of vibe of this. And I'm not honestly like, I don't lean towards florals at all. They can often like make my head hurt. This is so beautifully like sweet and creamy, kind of like that um, strawberries and cream kind of thing. It, also, it lasts really long, which I really, really appreciate, especially in the summer, you know, like I never know if I smell okay in the summer. No, a lot of you guys can relate. Okay, for lips, I have three different kind of balmy lip products. The first is the Hourglass Volumizing Lip Balm in the shade Lucid. I have been absolutely obsessed with this since I purchased it. It is so beautifully flattering. Um, not only is the formula that beautiful, like enveloping glossy balm formula, like, Again, this is going to be 2023 beauty favorites for sure. But not only is the formula good, but the shades are just absolutely perfection. It's just, what an absolute slam dunk. It It's really, really beautiful. And when I wear it, I feel really, really pretty, especially with a tan. Oh my gosh, the summertime lip. It's, uh, it's so good. But I have a couple of other favorites. I'm wearing this kind of blotted out because I didn't want it to clash too much with like the shirt I was wearing. Um, it's the Roman Glasting Melting Balm. This is a little bit thinner than like the one from Hourglass, but kind of the same vibe. I do, I really gotta get out my like melting balm, glossy balm video. I, I really need to get that out soon. But this is the shade Lovely Pink. And look at that. Oh, you see how it like looks kind of neon? It's not. It's not, you can really like sheer it out, but this is definitely one of my favorite K-Beauty formulas that I've used ever. I like that it has a grip, like it wants to stick to the lips. It's not really slippy, um, which some formulas, like that just, it, it rubs me the wrong way when I feel like my lips are just slipping all around and the color could get everywhere. But this still has like a nice grip to it, but it's hydrating shears out over the lips beautifully. Great kind of jelly translucent color. Obviously you can't see like the jelly nature of it because I did blot it out. Highly recommend this one. Um, and then lastly, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's just like a great, uh, like gonna go with everything kind of product, which is why I always like keep it in a bag. Pinky nude. I mean, obviously it's a very iconic color, but if you like a formula similar to the Hourglass, this formula is pretty similar. This is on sale as well. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Hourglass are both on sale. Again, I'm gonna try and find it to see if I can find this one on sale somewhere and leave it down below. Okay guys, and that is my summer makeup bag. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in my next one.